This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time you've been waiting for. It is time for the Mayhem Underground, the show formerly known as... The Mid-Week War! That's right, I'm Max Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter with my compatriot up in the Poughkeepsie, New York, Mad Mike. Sorg. Um, now, we speak in hyperbole on this show quite a bit. A bit. Uh, just a skosh, a trifle, a mere trifle, if you will. Um, I'm not speaking in hyperbole when I say the first 15 minutes of Lucha Underground may have been simultaneously the best and most confusing 15 minutes of television I've ever seen. And I've watched all of Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Oh, shit. <laughs> That is a hell of a statement. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm actually going to quick bring, I should have done this beforehand, but I'm going to quick bring up the, uh, the ad mayhem show Twitter feed Mm -hmm. because, um, Sorg, I did some, I did some math last week. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if you, I'm not sure if you read all my tweets, um, last week when I live tweeted Lucha Underground, I did some math. And, um, oh man, I need to use Twitter so, so, so slow at scrolling. Okay. All right. Um, well, first of all, I had a huge thread about the whole first 15 minutes. Um, it was probably like a 15 tweet thread, but Sorg, um, I had to pause my DVR after watching that for those first 15 minutes because I, and I did the math on this. Okay. It was one third Mortal Kombat, two tenths Lion King, four ninths Doctor Who, and one forty fifth telenovela. Oh, I think you can give a much higher percentage to telenovela. You no no I I see there's see no 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 see my math would be okay. my okay. math uh, was was. Um, and I didn't, I didn't do the full like breakdown on this, but it was parts, um, um, Spanish soap opera. Yes. It, it was parts, uh, uh, Spanish sci-fi apparently. Um, okay. And then it was parts, um, that fight scene from they live. Okay. All right. I accept that as well. I accept that as well. All right. Um, but. Before we get into all that, Sorg, we're going to do this the way we always do. Um, qual es tu palabra para Lucha Underground? Um, cat fight. Okay. Okay. It was more um, than a cat fight, but that's all I can think of to represent that. That's fair. Um, my, my, my word this week is just going to be... Oh my god, Venus time travel back 10 weeks! We followed him. <laughs> and we followed him. Yes. We just alluded um, that he just disappears and he returns to the future or something. And he makes like, and, oh, I know. We will be together soon. And then this time it's like, no. We saw him freaking go back in time. And we know he can travel in time and space because he was not in the same place he was when he left. So this isn't some DeLorean shit. This is some TARDIS shit. Jeez. I'm going to sword sword. I'm going to start calling him Arrow Stardust. <laughs> Arrow Stardust. That's 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 just it. Okay. I'm I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to start doing that, and he's just gonna sit there and like it. He seemed like a very nice man when I he met does. him in he New does. Orleans. He likes a lot of our tweets. Yes, I, I met I met him in New Orleans. He follows me personally on Twitter. Mm-hmm. So I'm okay with this. I'm okay with all of this. Um, Sorg, I, I know it's going to be 
difficult to parse. But uh, Qualis too bueno, not a loser underground. That 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 original scene, that the first fifteen minutes, like yeah. I mean, it 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 encompassed everything, all the weirdness and awesome, and the not wrestling that we love about Lucha Underground. Hmm. Um. Okay. So, Sorg, I'm just gonna. Would you mind if we did some story time with Mad Mike? Sure. Go ahead. Okay. So, I, again, as I said, when I watched this first scene. I literally had to pause the DVR and just break this shit down. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So uh, if you weren't following along with the mayhem show Twitter, you're about to get a little bit of a story time. If you were, I apologize. This is going to be a tiny bit of a rehash, but I think it's still pretty funny. Um, so first Katrina has pissed off her undead killing monster with the classic. I never loved you. Mm-hmm. And somehow Melissa Santos has crazy bitch GPS and finds Katrina's <laughs> hidden temple. I love this retailing, this this mad bike version mm-hmm. of this. Mm-hmm. And, and then I put, and shit is on. Um, they fight all throughout the building, eventually winding up in on a roof with a classic catwalk stare down while they both take off their jackets, mind you, which was very lovely. Uh, then Melissa eventually flips Katrina over after she almost choked to death on the memento of her ex-lover, Phoenix. And then I put, keep in mind, this is still wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, and I haven't even gotten to the craziest stuff yet. Um, Melissa's about to let Katrina go when the aforementioned undead killing monster shows up to presumably save Katrina. But Mill grabs the arm of Katrina, puts in her hand the rock he saved from when he was buried by rubble in an earthquake and throws her off the catwalk. <laughs> Then Aerostar shows up, and Melissa immediately says she didn't kill Katrina. So Aerostar, who incidentally is a time-traveling mystic luchador, sucks 1,000 lives worth of souls out of Katrina. Aerostar then takes the half-pendant of life, says he will BRB, and travels (laughs) in time. He does say that. He does say that. In Espanol, yes. Yes, in Espanol. Then he travels in time to 10 weeks ago. Aerostar restores all 1,000 of Phoenix's lives and time travels back to present day. Keep in mind, this is still wrestling and evil is punished. Um, so Mi Palabra is pretty accurate. It's pretty accurate. Uh, yeah. Sorg, not only did we figure out that Aerostar can time travel and travel in space? He can also bring motherfuckers from the past back with him. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yes. <laughs> yes, he can. Oh, so that yes, has, he can. so we can. Huh? Yes. Huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> So Aerostar can just Thanos this whole bitch if he wants to. Oh, yeah, he could. Yeah, he could. He can can bring back Big Rick. Like, I would love it. I don't think this is where they're going. No, but the potential was there, and that's what makes this exciting, right? Remember remember how I said how I thought there was going to be a zombie army? (laughs) What if... and. Sorg, hear me out. What if every time the lights went out in the temple, the wrestlers were not being sacrificed to the gods, but taken by a time traveling arrow star <laughs> to bring them back in the future to have all like 10 of them destroy Matanza? I love this. I love this theory making. <laughs> and just in case the isn't I, this isn't the idea and someone who's listening likes this idea, that is free because I'm currently otherwise employed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just in case. Because 
with time travel, that shit can be done at any time. <laughs> I love, I, and I love which I love which company you're giving your ideas to, considering. But anyways, I, I hey, I've given ideas to the other company too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hashtag hype bros. Um, <laughs> that <laughs> that's <laughs> yep. It's entirely accurate. Uh, so sword. Not every show is perfect. We know this, despite how much we love Lucha Underground. Uh, Qualis to Malo, part of Lucha Underground. Um, that when when going back and thinking about the show, I can't recall much else except for <laughs> that opening scene because it was so striking. Okay, that's that's fair because I honestly had to look up the results too yeah. to remember yeah. exactly what happened. Like I remembered a few things. But if you asked me to recall all three matches, who, brother, I would not have been able to do that. <laughs> what else did we have in that match? <laughs> um, well, uh, my, uh, me, Malo, I'll give. Um, I, I think I think Brenda deserves to have better representation. Yeah, yeah, she like, does. Um, I, I also tweeted that if we ever decided to reboot USA's Up All Night. It should be hosted by the by the beautiful Brenda. We've had this discussion. We have. Who would be the other co-host? Should it just be Famous B and like should just should just um L Ray just do an L Ray up all night with beautiful Brenda and Famous oh, B? Oh my God! Yes, yes. Cat- no, Danny Trejo. Danny Trejo and Danny and Trejo beautiful and beautiful Brenda. Yes. No, no, that works. No, no, that works. Yeah. He mm-hmm. is. Uh, yeah, he could be the Gilbert Godfrey of L Ray. Or even like Tommy Chong. Mike, I just what? saw the title for the next episode. Oh, oh God, what is it? It's Pet Cemetery. <laughs> I, I love this show. I love this show so much. I can't wait because to find Sword, out what that means. Sorg, do you know what the title of this week's episode was? It was The Circle of Life. <laughs> <laughs> Because, because Mil Mertes literally said, like, long live the king. Like, he did the scar moment when he dropped Katrina off the catwalk. Oh, deep cuts, man. Deep cuts. Oh, I have a DVD. I have the Lion King DVD completely sitting on my desk. Uh, <laughs> I love this show so much. Um, yes. All right. Uh, but if I had... Yeah, the, my Mallow would be um, beautiful Brenda not being accurately represented because she was stuck with Big Bang Steve, who really kind of got his ass kicked by Killshot. Yeah. I do appreciate Killshot's new uh, Punisher look, though. Mm hmm. Like, he's, he's almost gone one, full uh, one batch, two batch, penny and dime, which I'm okay. And then, um, really cool part of that is uh, um, Son of Havoc stealing the mask of Killshot. Mm hmm. We could get a mask versus mask match. That could be fun. That could be really fun. Um, all right. So, Sorg, uh, do you have a change this week? What would be your combio if you had one? Oh, my combio. My combio. Um, that there weren't any more direct They Live references. <laughs> okay. All right, fair enough. You can't tell me. I have to. I I I I I'm gonna have to tweet the Joseph and be like, like that fight. They live, right? Right. I mean, because it's just. <laughs> I mean, at least in spirit, right? I mean, I would think. I would think so. It has to be. I mean, there was a little more to it because they kind of changed scenes a bit, you know, because the they live fight scene was just just in a back alley, period. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. But it's just kind of like there's just a lot of. This, wait, this is this is still going. Wait, this is still going. Wait, this is still going. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. So uh-huh. interesting. So interesting because now you have an unchanged mil- unchained Mil Mortis. Uh-huh. You know, it's like it's like when Undertaker lost Paul Bear. Yeah, pretty much. But if Paul Bear was a lot sexier. Yes. yes. Yeah, I'll agree with I'm I mean, you know, not to discredit Paul Bear. I mean, no, know, all, all due respect to Paul Bear. Of course, but, yeah, given the right circle. But I don't I'm think sure. he would have filled out a red dress like that. I, I don't know about that. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You just gotta all give right. him a chance. All right. Yeah. All right. You just gotta all give right. him a chance. Well, this is getting uh, awkward. <laughs> uh, if I had a combio this week, 
it would um I would have liked Joey Wrestling to get a little bit more of a shake. Me too. Me too. He's Joey freaking wrestling. Like he did better than most against Matanza, but you know, I mean we still have to sacrifice him. Let's let's he be did. real. He did. It's a, you gotta sacrifice him back to agent status at WWE. Yeah, pretty much. Uh I want wow, is that where they all go? I should be I should be on the lookout for some for some rabbits. Just hopping around. They just all end up backstage at WWE. That's where the other end of being sacrificed. The the <laughs> gods that they're actually being sacrificed to are Vince McMahon. Meek Mahan. <laughs> <laughs> the ancient Aztec god, Meek Mahan. Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> this has all been a fever dream of Matt Hardy. <laughs> Back in the bad times. Oh, man. Back when he had his condition. <laughs> Oh Jesus! Um, all right, so things we missed uh, that we didn't get to. Uh, King Cuerno attacked Pentagon after his match with Hernandez. Mm-hmm. That should be interesting. I, I I I like King Cuerno coming after Pentagon now. Although it just seems like Pentagon doesn't really have much of a story this year. Well, it's like, just like, it's just, he, like he's just the champion defending his belt against whoever attacks him from behind. Right, right. But I feel like there's been a little bit of allusions too with uh Vampiro uh and him a little bit. You think you think they're going back to that well? Mm, they could. I mean there's a lot of history there. That's true. Like he, he he's becoming more and more displeased at Pentagon being, you know, you know, catering to the fans and everything, so um which seems against everything that they were doing. Yeah, but at the same time he did break both of Cage's arms. So that is true. So I don't know if he's necessarily lost that viciousness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't. Oh, do you think Pet Cemetery has to do with King Cuerno? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, Maybe you'll have your oh, zombie wish sooner than you think. Well, I I did hear of one match that's for next week. Uh, is it public? Is it? Yeah, yeah, it, it's on. Okay. It's on their face. It's on okay. their Instagram. Okay. It, um, trios title match, the Reptile Tribe versus a reunited Drago, Phoenix, and Aerostar. Mm. So yeah, the original the original Lucha House Party is coming home to roost. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no pinatas in this one. Nope. Oh. But yeah, so that should be fun. I didn't hear of anything else that was happening, but um, I really hope we get some more follow up for some of the stuff that's going. Because now we have an unchained Mil Muertes too, because he doesn't have Katrina. Right. So we got a an unchained Matanza, an unchained Mil Muertes. Ooh, that could be leaning towards something. Yeah, yeah, it could. I don't know what, but it could be. I'm excited for it. I'm here for it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, well, can I roll back one one other yes, thread that, that I have I was thinking just about? I about to ask if there's anything else you wanted to go um, over. Because we have Katrina died, fell off a building. In fantastic uh-huh. special effects, by the way. I'm yes, sure there's it, been... it looked just like the end of Die Hard. <laughs> just like it. Just like it. Uh and they both, I'm sure, look good in John Phillips. Okay, wait, wait, before I get to my other point, we're back to the fight scene again, because I can't stop talking about the fight scene. At a certain <laughs> point, there's just like a little bit of, this feels very student filmy. <laughs> but again, they did they did lower their budget this year. So Yeah, but, it looked like Mortal Kombat Annihilation. And I'm not saying it. You know, it also looked like a student film. Uh, but I'm not saying that in a bad way. It's, it's, it's part of the, what I love about it. Um, when we lost Katrina, I, that's not the right way to put that, but still, um, I kept thinking back to all that backstory we got with him, with her and her mother from yes. last season. So where does that come back? Also, this is not the last of Katrina. She's going to be back dead again, flickering and disappearing again and pissed. Yeah, it, it, we could go the angry poltergeist route. Mm. Good. Oh, we don't see her for like six episodes, but just weird shit keeps happening backstage that doesn't involve a creepy doll. Uh huh. Yeah. 
where like accidents keep happening. Oh, like near Melissa, like a spotlight almost falls on her. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> I like, this. like there, there's stuff we can do here. Mm-hmm. There, there, there's definite stuff we can do here. Yep. Like if she's an actual spirit, <laughs> like like if she's if she doesn't have a corporeal form, <sighs> and they have to use like the half pendant to bring back something like and then matanza doesn't have a soul now so maybe she just inhabits that yep there's so many ways to go (laughs) there's so many ways to go and i'm excited by reunited with jeremiah crane no jeremiah crane was resurrected that is that he is jeremiah jeremiah snake snake Snake. (laughs) oh jeez by the way by the way um sorg um we we need to help a friend you need to help Matt Carlin's. You do? Matt oh, is, yeah. We learned. Matt Carlin's is desperately behind on Lucha Underground. Yes. Um, yes. You need to help him in his. I don't care what you have to do, in but uh, you you are closer to him than I am. Angel. Yeah. In, in the arms of Katrina. You too but, need to tweet. But, Mainstream Matt one T on the Twitter. Mm-hmm. And I'm angel. Tell him to catch up on Lucha Underground. Yes. Tell him his friends are worried about him. Yes, we are. Tell him that he's missing amazing things, like a twelve minute fight scene. Tell uh, him. Tell him that every time he watches Raw, watch three episodes of Lucha instead. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> tell him. Yes. Tell the bed. Tell the kids to go to bed early. Or Tell just them make to go a bed really early because or, there's a lot of death this season. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. <laughs> just make them watch a Bella's match at the beginning of Raw, so they'll go right to sleep, and you can watch your Lucha Underground, Matt Carlin. It, it works for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Oh, Mad Mike, Mad Mike, four eight three on the Twitter. Yes, and uh, I will be live tweeting Lucha Underground again this week. Uh, go to Ad Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM. And uh, we'll see what other crazy shit I can come up with. Yes, at Sorgatron on the Twitter if you're joining us. Uh, this week on Wrestling Mayhem Show, we have Chris LaRusso, Ring of Honor top prospect from 2017, joining us on the show. We'll see what's going to happen when uh, him and Bobby FJ Town get on a uh, Skype line together. Uh, he got really weird and threatening last time. Um, and we'll see what's happening with, with Bradley that he keeps um, threatening too. Uh, and uh, also this week we're going to have uh, CMLL's Sam Adonis uh, joining us here in studio, uh, talking about some Lucha Libra coming to Pittsburgh and so much more. And uh, do yourself a favor and go watch or listen to the Team Storm Indie Mayhem show. We just posted it here this Monday. And a uh, special extra Indie Mayhem show this week. A lot going on leading into the weekend, so uh, hit that up. Uh, we we learned a lot. We learned a lot about Team Storm, guys. Crack, uh, crack yourself open a nice can of dry. That's right. Just like I have right here. <laughs> and just listen to Team Storm. There you go. Thank you so much. Until next time, this has been your Mayhem Underground, formerly known as... The Midweek War! This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.